Yo, 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 my name is Trent, and let's review this Fiona Apple album. Now, I don't know Fiona Apple like I've said before. I've heard her song Criminal, and I think it's a banger. Um, but y'all had a lot to say about my initial opinion, so I listened to the album all the way through like three times or four times and I slept on it listened to it again the next day you know I read the review on it by Jen Jen Pelly uh yeah and I watched a bunch of other stuff anyway I've got my opinion and my opinion is okay well let me start with the strengths the lyrics the themes there's a lot of the time where she's using so much personal first-hand experience that she and she's such a clever songwriter that she came she comes up with lots of lines that like really stick in your head and really ring and like those I love those moments those are the best moments of the album in my opinion and like it's she's just so clever and creative. I love that she's so raw and unafraid. But it doesn't th- there are weaknesses. So that's the biggest strength is the lyrics and the themes and how personal, raw and emotional they can be. And she can turn it into a catchy one-liner. I think that's something unique to her is how she'll in a lot of these songs, like Relay, she comes up with some one-liner, and, I mean, she did this in a lot of songs. She takes interesting topics, has a different personal and unique perspective on it, and just turns it into something catchy. I think that's really cool. So that's my biggest strength with the album. Now, um, an issue with the album I had and I was talking to my friend about this so I think the album gets tiring like listening to the whole thing it's 50 minutes it really feels like you're alone in the room with Fiona Apple and she's like quarantined I think or it seems like she's quarantined because it's a little claustrophobic and busy in there and like the way that she drums and everything it's it gets i get a little tired listening to it i found myself having to take breaks after like three or four songs i'd have to take a break because it's all throughout the timbre of the music and the atmosphere is pretty consistent all throughout and like even when she does a track with no drums like for her and it's just a chant, it still has that same timbre to it. So, and it's not a timbre I really, like, enjoy either. Like, you saw my reaction to the dogs barking at the end. Like, it's uncomfortable. It it can, it kind of gets you feeling anxiety sometimes. So, that's definitely the biggest weakness, in my opinion, is she's just one woman. And though she's very creative lyrically and like perspective wise, it's she doesn't push it enough. And it it just doesn't capture me for an entire 50 minutes. You know, I think there needs to be more guests. Apparently, Cara Delevingne was in the Fetch the Bolt Cutters song, which is pretty cool, actually. Um, but anyway, I really, after listening to it, I don't buy this Pitchfork album review. I mean, I know you're not supposed to take Pitchfork seriously anyway, but like it's the first 10 out of 10 in 10 years. So obviously I'm going to notice and lots of people are noticing, obviously lots of passionate comments over here. (laughs) Um, so thank you. But yes, like I feel like giving it a t- 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 
giving it a 10 out of 10 just overhypes it. So let me see what I said. So I like the record, but the 10 out of 10, it makes it more, I enjoy the record less now that I know it got a 10 out of 10 and everyone's so hyped about it because it's raw and it's personal. And it's, it's by this middle-aged former pop star, an experimental folk record. And giving it a 10 out of 10, like the last 10 out of 10 was Kanye's big, dark, twisted fantasy, which was a huge like media moment after Taylor Swift on the MTV Awards was like, I'm going to let you finish. It was like a whole bombastic meme for society. So like putting this even in the same realm as that just is kind of gross like i'd re- i'd enjoy this album more if it was like a secret like that's how personal this album feels and having it get all hyped up all over pitchfork just kind of makes it like uh, a little more gross to me like it's not supposed to be like that and you know i just wish that they would put that kind of a spotlight on someone who maybe hasn't like not a washed up like pop star I, I washed up is very harsh to say because she still releases good music but you know she's not at the heights that she once was and it'd be great if they could give somebody an opportunity like this like somebody who's relatively unknown or make something that really has a strong statement that we need and like i i feel the feminist statements in like a lot of great social justice in Fiona Apple's new album. But like, even though her perspective is unique to her, I don't think it's really that revolutionary. I think a lot of people will feel this and relate to this, but it's not really a revolution. It's not really, it didn't blow my mind. It was just like, ooh, like I'm getting to know Fiona pretty well through this, which is nice. Um, but anyway, so it's, it's a homey timbre. It's a homey album. I just prefer it. I'd enjoy it more if it could be treated like that and not as a 10 out of 10. I feel like Jen Pelly just really connected with this album. She might be in a similar situation, like kind of feeling lonely, quarantined, middle-aged, like thinking about her past and reflecting on it feeling like you know feeling like she needs to break out from her past which i felt all that from this album but um i think jen we should have it's a 10 out of 10 for jen that's for sure but for most people and for the world i think this is more of like a 7 a 7.5 like it's a good album but it's not exceptional it's just it is fiona apple and she she's bearing herself and that's great but it's not perfect there's a lot of places on the album that i'd say are not perfect um like i thought the ladies 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 i i mean of course it goes with the theme of the song but i thought it was a little cheesy or insincere i was like oh is this <laughs> i'd be like is this rj 3000 like all right now ladies mm-hmm, now ladies Maybe she's doing a twist on that. I don't know. But like there's a lot of weak, weak moments on this album. Drum set is pretty forgettable. Newspaper to me, I don't remember. Rack of his other than the clever, like, oh, what does she mean? Rack of his. And then you figure out guitar rack. Like I, she is clever, but the songs themselves don't really stick, stick with me as much as like a true a really really good album would i will say i really liked cosmonauts cosmonauts was a great track um heavy balloon was really strong um i liked i love her attitude she's got a great attitude under the table had a lot of a lot of attitude i want you to love me felt so emotional so those are some of my favorite tracks but there's a lot of weak tracks on here and I just don't want to see it overhyped because it might just get 
forgotten and be treated like something it's not. And But for what it is, it's really good. So if this album, if you're looking for these kinds of themes and lyrics, this is a great album, and you're not going to find something with such a personal perspective as this. But, um, yeah, I'm giving it a 7.5. And I saw Fantano kind of agrees with me, which is weird because I don't really agree with Fantano a lot. <laughs> I try to, I'm not really watching him as much anymore, but yeah, I, I actually agree with him on a lot of stuff with this album. And, you know, not to take away from anyone's enjoyment of it, it's just, um, I, I don't know, I, I don't. I'm not really buying all the hype. I don't think the hype is good for this album specifically. I think the album will age better if we actually treat it in a different way. And I want to see this opportunity given to um, something that like people wouldn't notice otherwise. Like give a 10 out of 10 to something that truly would like revolutionize things. So anyway, that's just what I think. And Thanks for all the feedback, and I'll catch y'all later. I, I'm probably going to listen to it again someday, so it's not a bad album. Just uh, don't believe the hype. All right, peace, y'all.